Welcome back to Man, Woman, Love, Revolution. I'm Tyler Hendricks. Because the true parents achieved oneness, every man and woman can achieve oneness as true parents through the Holy Marriage Blessing. Father Moon said, only man through woman or woman through man can possess God. The man may be a perfect man. The woman may be a perfect woman, but they can possess God only as a couple. That is the man-woman love revolution. Father Moon said, Adam has to be born on earth and accomplish the course of going through Eve and being blessed. Without that, Adam cannot claim his position as a perfect Adam. Father taught that both bride and bridegroom have to be perfected. He said, because Adam and Eve fell and lost their family foundation, another representing perfected Adam meets the perfected Eve and has a family. He said, if a perfect man is born, a perfect woman will be born. He added, would it be sinful for Jesus to love that woman? Would God stop Jesus from loving that perfected woman? Father Moon said, the third Adam comes in the position of Adam before the fall and has to search for Eve before the fall. The third Adam must find the unfallen Eve and they will have the feast of the Lamb. Now, we have to be clear about what the principle means by perfection. A person who is mature is in a state of perfection. It doesn't mean they never make a mathematical or technical error. It means they have a mature heart of love and live for the sake of others. Over the decades, Pak Jahan Moon, Mother Moon, fulfilled this true mother's responsibility of living for others to the point of gaining the surrender of Satan on the world level. Father Moon said that Mother established the condition through the 80 city speaking tour to make even Satan surrender to God, to true parents, and to humankind. Mother gained recognition by God, Satan, and all people that she had fulfilled her responsibility as the true mother. Therefore, she can occupy and act from the precious position of Eve, whose mistake in front of Adam has been restored. The position is what is sinless. It means the position is free of Satan's accusation. As Father Moon said, Jesus came to restore the sinless position of love, the love that had been lost since the time of Adam. He came in a stainless, sinless position that no one else has. This has a radical implication. To be sinless is not a matter of one's genome. Father Moon did once say, I was born of a different seed from yours. But he also said that one's genetic heritage does not tell the whole story. He put it this way, the true parent does not become great by virtue of his genes. His seed is not different. The person who vows to save the world in one generation at the risk of his life and practices this determination, that person is great. The principle is not deterministic. It will never factor out human freedom and responsibility. Therefore, it is not genes that make the person, but a person's absolute determination to save the world. Father Moon's determination to save the world was absolute, just as was Jesus. And why not the leader of the age of women? The one with whom True Father created the man-woman love revolution. The one through whom he could possess God. The one with whom he learned the system of thought based on true love. We'll explore this in the next session. Thank you for your kind attention.